Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. There was a big meeting today at Youngstown State concerning the future of what is now being called Lordstown Motors Corporation. A group picture shows about 25 people at the meeting, including four people from Lordstown Motors, one of whom is CEO Steve Burns. He's in the first row on the far left in the jacket. There's also YSHE President Jim Tressel and State Senators Sean O'Brien and Mike Rooley. First News reporter Jake Thompson is live in the newsroom with the details of the meeting. Yes, Stan, Senator Sean O'Brien said that Lordstown Motors Corporation is making strides in the right direction. They want to make Lordstown its world headquarters, but they have a long ways to go before they can start rolling out vehicles. Lordstown Motors Corporation met with YSU President Jim Tressel, Senators Michael Rowley and Sean O'Brien, and others about forming a partnership to get the company to buy the GM Lordstown plant. Right now, the biggest barrier is contracts. The biggest thing that they have to work on is the UAW because those are ongoing uh, contract negotiations that are going on between General Motors and the UAW. So at this moment, Lordstown Motors Corporation cannot buy the plant. If the company does buy, though, they'll partner with Workhorse and use their technology for the electric trucks and maybe electric trucks for the postal service. If they get the post office uh, contract, they will be building those models here. And that's about 200,000 200, pieces or 200,000 mail trucks. Which translates into about $6.3 million. As for jobs, the estimates could rise depending on how the contracts go with the Postal Service. In the beginning, you got to crawl, walk, run, 400 with the fleet vehicles, but with the post office, it could be three shifts. I mean, it, it could be huge. This has the potential of making Lordstown bigger than it once was. It, it has the potential to be even more than what Lordstown is because we're going to be on the cups. We're going to be the first one in. And as we have seen, when industry starts, other industry follows it. But as of right now, they'll still have some hurdles to jump over. It's not a done deal, but we're being cautiously optimistic. We need to get the financing in place first. We also need to get the UAW involved. Now, O'Brien tells First News that the Lordstown Motors Corporation is hoping to have its first vehicles roll out by the end of 2020 with a little help from a former executive of Tesla. But for now, live in the newsroom, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.